Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're making some spicy paneer tacos with homemade guacamole. You do not want to miss this. Stay tuned. Before we get started, let's go through all the ingredients we'll be using. Um, we have some uh, grass-fed plain yogurt. You can also use uh, non-fat Greek yogurt if you want. We have some uh, grain-free tortillas. These are almond flour. There's a company called Siete. They're great. Um, they also make grain-free paleo chips. So this is what we'll be using for guacamole. Uh, we have one lime. We have a couple of jalapenos. We didn't have green chili, so we'll be using some uh, serrano peppers. We have one green pepper. Um, this is a staple in every in Indian uh, household. We have some ginger garlic paste. We have some pickled jalapenos we'll be using for a spicy jalapeno chutney as well. Of course, we got the protein source, paneer. Alacados. We got some cilantro. We have one tomato, one onion, and the spices that we'll be using is turmeric, garam masala. We have some red chili powder. We have some ground cumin powder and salt and pepper for seasoning. All right, so what we're doing over here is a little trick that we learned uh, not too long ago, is instead of adding the lime to your guacamole, what we're doing over here is uh, I'm cutting some serrano peppers. And what we will do is will be, what's the word, pickling? Pickling the onions and the serrano peppers with some lime. And we'll leave it in a container in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll be making our guacamole. So we're gonna cut one lime. I'm gonna go over here, get some, uh, some of our onions. And we're gonna get rest of our uh, serrano peppers right here and we're going to be using the juice of half a lime squeeze all the juice all right so we'll let that sit the lime juice for about 15 to 20 minutes Adding the rest of our onions uh, to the pot. Saute a little. I'm gonna wait until they become nice and golden brown. Until then, let's make our marinade. So we're basically gonna eyeball everything. We're gonna be using uh, about a cup or about a cup and a half of the yogurt, teaspoon of our ginger garlic paste. Oh, it smells so good. So to that, we'll be adding some uh, turmeric, about a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of garam masala, some chili powder. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon and a half of chili powder some ground cumin or cumin. Ah, oh, I like how it smells. It's a teaspoon of ground cumin. Some salt and pepper to taste. So we have some Himalayan pink salt over here. Some fresh ground pepper. Marination is ready. So we're gonna mix that up. Mix, 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 mix. So now we're adding our paneer to our marinade. That a nice mix. So we're gonna let that sit and rest for about 10 more minutes. Let that paneer really soak in all the flavors and then we're gonna start cooking. So our onions are ready. They're nice and golden brown. So now we'll be adding our marinade, our paneer marinade. 
nice and slowly. I'm gonna cook this for about, I would say, 20 minutes or so. Halfway through cooking our paneer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half of green onion, half of tomato, one jalapeno pepper. I like we how to say it, mix it all up. Oh, it smells so good. Our paneer is almost ready. While we're at it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our homemade guacamole. So I have here um, two perfectly ripe avocados. So we're gonna get all the avocado meat in this bowl. So we personally like a chunkier uh, guacamole. Um, you can mash it more if you want to. So we're gonna be, I'm adding some salt, some freshly ground pepper, and here is where the magic happens. So remember the pickled onions and jalapenos and serrano peppers? We'll be adding that to the avocados. And that's what gives that acidic taste to it. Right here, a little bit of lime juice while we're at it. There you go. And now we mash. We're done mashing our guacamole. We'll be adding our tomatoes and a handful of chopped up cilantro. Add that to the mix. Do a quick taste test. That is so good. Guacamole made by a brown man. Woo! Got some heat to it. Our spicy paneer is ready. What we're gonna do is just uh, put it in a container, in a bowl, a plate, whatever works best for you. So now we'll be making the uh, jalapeno uh, chutney I spoke about. So I'm using uh, pickled jalapenos. You can use regular jalapenos. We just like the acidic part of it. It makes it nice and sour and creamy uh, chutney. So we're gonna drain the juice out of it. About a cup of um, pickled jalapenos. We're gonna add this to our, what's this called? Container, Nutribullet. Nutribullet attachment, I guess. Um, we'll be adding about one cup of yogurt. Um, we'll be adding some garlic close to it, so about four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna chop them up. Add a handful of chopped up cilantro to it. There you go. A little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, half a lime juice to it. It's gonna taste so good, guys. You have no idea. But you can have an idea if you make it at home. Yes, you can. So we take that Nutribullet attachment. Look at that. So if you don't have a Nutribullet, of course you can use the food processor. Gonna mix it about for about 20 seconds. Look at that color, guys. Oh my gosh. So we're almost done. All we have to do is just uh, warm up our almond flour grain-free tortillas. Of course you can have corn tortillas if you want to. You can even make your own tortillas. It's gonna give it about 40 seconds on each side. Doesn't really take that long. 
then we'll build our tacos. Let's build the tacos. So we'll start with the spicy paneer. Top it off with a little bit of the jalapeno creamy chutney that we made. Finish it off with a little bit of cilantro. That's good. Some homemade guacamole on the side. And some grain free tortilla chips. And the side of lime. Like, come on now, guys. Look at that. Homemade spicy paneer tacos with homemade guacamole. Topped it off with some jalapeno cream sauce. There you go, guys. Our spicy paneer tacos are ready. So, my beautiful girlfriend, Jenny, and I will be doing a live taste test for you guys. So, here we go. Ready? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Salud. Mm. Amazing job to my chef of a boyfriend here. Mm. What do you think? The flavor is on point. It has great flavor. It's paleo, it's healthy. You it's grain free. Everything in this recipe, you get you get it all. And we made this under I would say 30 minutes. Yeah. So you can definitely enjoy this as a family on Cinco de Mayo or any day to be honest. We hope you enjoyed this video of Kevin making these delicious tacos. Let me commend him again on his skills. Thank you. Um, the information to the recipe is down in the description below, as well as the links to our social media. Please hit that like button so we can continue to grow our channel comment and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, be well, stay safe. Peace.